wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code, 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 Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code. Previously, DACO conducted an experiment on the remote transmission of energy, which resulted in the sphere jet exploding. The explosion leads to a glitch in BB's programming, which traps him in a time loop. Now, BB is reliving this day over and over again. BB tries to prevent the catastrophe, but sphere jet explodes anyway, every time. What's causing the explosion? The investigation continues. Private message for BB to be read in the event of sphere jets exploding. I don't understand a single thing. was a genius after all. to Spheroscope 3000. You have one new unread message. Hi, BB. If you're logging into Spheroscope 3000, then that means you're already stuck in a closed space-time loop. This message was left to assist you in resolving what's transpiring around you. While working with Tesla's generator, Doco used technology from the future which current civilization is not yet ready for. This misuse of technology has led to not only a spatial displacement, but one in time as well. You were exposed but are now programmed to restore your memory after deletion to the most recently created backup point. Doco's generator is not causing the explosion. You need to discover the reason. My clue might change further development of these events. I can only tell you that the crew member whom you expect least is the guilty party. Who I am doesn't matter. You now have all necessary information. End of message. It's a tie. So now, back again! <laughs> hey, that's not fair! Amazing! 
moving things, energy transmission without wires or batteries in Daco's experiment. What? The sphere jet blows up because of me? How could that be? You already checked everyone, and I'm the only one left? But why are you doing it at all? <laughs> this is some kind of very strange joke. <laughs> Better you eat your breakfast instead of trying to trick your daddy. Well, all right. If you really want, let's check all the sphere jet systems. Computer, confirm sphere jet's current status. All systems normal. There, you see? Energy supply running low. What? One hour, three minutes remain before engine failure. Where's all the energy gone? Supply used on charging external devices. What device could eat up so much? <laughs> Mine got. Your power supply is malfunctioning. That's why the battery isn't fully charging. And that's where all the energy is going. One hour remains before engine failure. But we're surrounded by a colossal amount of natural energy. It's strange we're suffering from any shortages. What use is the energy if we can't even really use it? The charge from one lightning bolt would be enough for Sphere Jet for an entire month. <sighs> lightning is not controllable. It'd be easier trying to catch a leprechaun. Science can't help you with your problems with leprechauns, but there is a way it can help with lightning. There are options. Lightning occurs due to electrical disruptions, the place of which is impossible to predict, given lightning a precarious personality in nature at best. But if you really want some lightning, you can create these disruptions artificially. For example, you could launch a small rocket from the Earth into the storm clouds. Along the rocket's entire trajectory, the rocket ionizes the air and thereby creates a conductive channel for lightning. Another lead could be made by shooting a stream or water into the clouds. Or directing a laser beam, both of which also ionize the air. As you can see, there are lots of ways. Doko, I love you very much. But what good are these methods if we're in space? We're two days from the closest planet with clouds, and our engine will explode in half an hour. You asked me, and I answered you. Oh, my God. But where's Bibi? Bibi, what are you planning on doing? My God, you're going to give all your energy to Sphere Jet. Stop, stop! You won't be able to control this process and you will waste all your energy. Your circuits may not hold out. All your settings and programs and backups, I won't be able to restore you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it can't be there's no other way. We'll think of something. We always think of something. Baby! Baby. Baby. Do you recognize me? One mechanical arm did have to be replaced, but all other indicators are normal. He confidently can do this. Your energy will be enough to get Sphere Jet to the nearest planet, 
where we can use the forces of nature. Until then, we can share with you our energy. Give it our soup! We'll give him enough energy to last for a thousand years. <laughs> Delivery of Spheroscope 3000 complete. Thank you for your order. Message recording. Leave your message after the beep. Message recorded. Receiver, BB. Hi, BB. I'm going to contact Pin in five minutes and let him know that everything with me is okay and I just traveled into the future. He's probably worried sick. <gasps> You're right! It is New Year's. I don't even know what to give him. Oh! That's an excellent gift! Ha ha! Wanna give it to him yourself? Oh, I know. I miss him too. All right! Well, I'm off then! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> 